In the year of 2014, a legend was born. It talks of the Seven, seven heroes who hold unrivaled power over the world. Their strength lies in seven secret keys. When combined in a sacred ritual, the keys can do the unthinkable. They can shut down the internet. Okay, this might be a bit of an exaggeration. We'll have to explore that, but meanwhile, here's the million dollar question. Can you hijack this power and destroy the internet forever? Here you are, an ambitious rebel on a mission to eliminate mankind's greatest invention since the wheel. Where should you go? To this building. It's called the ICANN, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. It's a non-profit, non-governmental organization that pretty much runs the internet. Unfortunately, runs not in the sense that it controls anything. It's the internet. Have you ever been there? ICANN just keeps things in order and makes sure you actually get to the website you want to visit instead of something else. This is done by confirming the authenticity of the website's IP address. There are servers that can confirm it and other servers that confirm those servers and so on and so forth. And on the very top of this pyramid are the servers of ICANN. The access to those servers are controlled by ICANN's keys. And the access to those keys is controlled with keys that sign keys. Are you still following? Okay, let's move on. Those keys are at the tip of this whole system. There are two of them hidden in two secret locations, here and here. Okay, they're not that secret, but access to them is reserved for seven anonymous people. And here are their names. Right, they aren't anonymous at all, but nobody really knows how to become one of them, except, yeah, you just fill in a form and, and get selected. The criteria is also there. Basically, you have to be smart, know how DNS works, and speak English. So just watch a bunch of programming tutorials on YouTube, and that's it. You're ready to take over the internet. Congratulations. But how do you actually do it? Thankfully, all the secret activity that takes place at ICANN is live streamed, so it's easy to figure everything out. The computers with key signing keys are stored inside these two safes. The safes are stored in one of ICANN's facilities, and the facilities are located here. So. What you have to do is get into these buildings, pass multiple levels of security with alarms and armed guards, navigate the interior of the building, and enter the ceremony room. Just did that? Congratulations. Now, here's where your key comes in. You have to use it to open the cage which houses the computers. And, oh, damn it, one key isn't enough for that. You have to use several of them to open the cage. You should have brought some friends. But who are we fooling? You want to destroy the internet. You don't have any friends. Anyway, you somehow managed to get your hands on some more keys and enter the room. Now you have to open the safe, but it has several additional layers of security, which is exactly what all these people are for. Okay, let's stretch the fantasy a little bit more. You managed to convince some of them to open the safe and extract the computer. Then you managed to assemble it. And there you go, the access to the key signing key. Can you destroy the internet now? Well, no, not really. What you just got access to is the key signing key, the one that authenticates IP addresses of websites. So what you actually can do now is make a fake website and display it to somebody instead of a real one. And that's it. You can't reboot the internet. You can't destroy the internet. You can't stop it from working. Maybe, just maybe, you can destroy the trust of the users and some people will stop using it because of the danger of scams. But chances are, ICANN will just use the second facility to fix everything, and all your efforts will go to waste. So, from the get-go, you are better off not believing all those legends about the Mysterious Seven. As you can see, the reality is a good deal more complicated than a Twitter post would lead you to believe. And that's it. We hope you enjoy this very serious and deeply educational video about ICANN. Subscribe if this content is your cup of tea, and see you in the next video.